Hi everybody! So what I'm going to show you today is the new Sephora color correcting palette. I'm super excited to show you this. Um, it has a lot of cool colors in it and it's just going to show you how to correct redness, dark circles, dullness, anything that you really could need to. So this is the outside, this is the box of it. Cool color pattern there and then that kind of has a guide on it of what's going to be in there. And it comes with this inside of it. And it kind of has all the colors and everything like that. So that's what's inside. And this is what it actually looks like. Nice packaging, white. Love it. So this is what comes inside of it. And I think it's just beautiful. Just look at that. So, it also comes with one of these. That kind of explains everything, but I'm going to explain that to you right now. And so, listen up. I hope you're ready. And I'm going to be applying this with the Sephora 52 brush. And it's the Pro Stipling Concealer brush. So, I'm going to kind of show you where everything goes. And you're going to want to blend it in. And then, I'm going to just show you kind of how to conceal it at the ends because you don't want green and purple and yellow showing through your makeup. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with dark circles and with the dark circles you are going to want to start with this. It is the number two color. It's a peach. So dark circles eliminate with peach. So it is very pigmented, very pigmented. So you're just going, going to want to barely dab it in there. And so here we are with the peach. And after going in with this peach, I'm going to go in with this one right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and just do this side of my face so that you can tell a difference once I'm done concealing it and kind of see that it does actually work. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to cover up our redness. Now there are two colors that do that. The green and the yellow. The green really calms intense redness. Like any spots that you think would be very noticeable. I know I have a lot of redness here around my nose, on the bridge of my nose. I have some light redness here. That's where I would use the yellow. So you can actually use the green first wherever you think it's the most intense and then cover that up with the yellow. So this is where I see the most redness in my face. And like I said, very pigmented. And you're going to want to blend that out. And you're not going to want to blend it out completely because you are needing to have the green there.
So I know that looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna fix that too. So don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do right now is take this yellow and I'm gonna put it on top of the green. And the yellow also helps with redness. Once we've kind of put the yellow on top of it, I'm really going to kind of dab it out. Because you want the green and yellow on there, you just don't want it so intensely. Like I said, this is very pigmented. So next we're going to use the lavender, and this is going to brighten you up. You're going to use it in any places that you want to look lighter. So down here a little bit. And then just like before, just blend it out. And so these colors that I've just explained are very bright, kind of weird to put on your face i guess a green and a purple um but these colors over here is actually what you use to cover that up so that you don't have splotches of green and purple and yellow all over your face so i'm actually going to use some of this color right here on my eye to brighten that up So my face looks a little crazy right now. So we're going to conceal that with these colors over here. I'm going to use this one right here. It is the number four on the palette. And I'm just gonna use this to cover up some of the green. And so we've kind of concealed everything that we might think might be a problem, the redness, dark circles, and brightened some stuff up. So I'm going to take a BB cream. This one is Mary Kay, very light. And I'm going to take this makeup brush, and you're going to want to pat the foundation on. If you rub it, it kind of blends the colors in the wrong way. Once I've done that, I always like to smooth it out with a beauty blender. This one is actually the Real Techniques one that I've been trying out and I think I really like it. So like I said, tap so you don't blend any of the colors into the wrong places. So now I don't know if you can tell, but if you can see it, my dark circles right here are pretty noticeable versus this side, which look a lot more blended in and not there as much. I'm going to go ahead and set it with a mineral foundation powder. I like to do this just so I don't have a tacky or wet looking face. This one is from Mary Kay Ivory One. So here is the finished product. I look 
alive and awake on this side and I love it so much more than just putting a foundation and being done because it it makes the world of different difference I guess I can't talk it makes a world of difference and I really like it I'm really happy with the purchase and I will definitely be using it any chance I get when you do use it you don't have to go as intense as I just did I did all the colors to kind of show you but if you wake up one morning and you realize that you did not get enough sleep and your eyes are looking dull and down use the peach brighten it up a little bit or if you wake up you've had allergies or you have a pimple and you see this red on your face and you really need to cover it up get the green on there you don't have to use it all at once all the time i hope you enjoyed it i hope you really liked it um and i will let you know if i have any updates on this product thank you